was here, it's got these, uh, something a holy. Look at that, look at that. Look at, oh, ship it. No, 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 no. Look at the size of that boy. Look at the, whoa. He came right at you there. That was close. Look at that. The black mamba. What a brilliant snake. Hello everyone, Dingo here and welcome to this episode. As you can see, we're in the middle of a beautiful gorge at the moment. And the reason we're here, the absolute only reason we're here this morning is to try and catch, remove and rescue a very special snake. One that's dear to my heart, one of my favorite snake species in all the world, the black mamba. That's right, I've got a call. And in fact, we've got a lot of messages saying, this is a popular forest where people go for walks and it's not far from where we actually live, probably 10 minutes away. We've walked quite far into the bush now. I mean, have a look at this beautiful bush all around us. Look at this river bed and that's what we're walking on. There is some water going underneath and there's also another river to the right hand side, but um, we're walking along this bed and what, what we've had, people calling us, getting hold of us saying, Dingo, please, we walk down here with our kids on paths that go along this riverbed and a number of people have said they've seen a big black mamba. They're sure it's a black mamba. I said, not a python because pythons love water. They live in this area too. No, 100% sure black mamba. We've even seen some photos, but the snake was so far away, I couldn't actually tell, um, of a snake down or sunning itself on these rocks here in the sun. Now, the problem you have this time of year, we're in the middle of winter here, it's July here in South Africa. Mambas don't hibernate themselves like a lot of the other animals do. You know, a bear, he'll eat a whole bunch of hair, do a butt plug, and he'll hibernate for a couple of months. Mambas don't do that. No eating hair to make a butt plug. They will actually go down into a hole, hunker down there when it's cold at night. Then as soon as it's hot today, it's about 28 degrees Celsius. It's pretty warm. It's humid in this forest. It's actually not too cold. And what that means is the snake comes out, finds some sun to bask in, goes back down into the hole at night. So they've sent us a pin and it's just around this kind of area here where they've seen the snake. I haven't seen it in the wild myself. So we're gonna be walking here trying to find, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. It's the most beautiful scenery you've ever seen. What a place for a black mamba to live. But we're gonna walk through Kirsty now. We're gonna look around things, see for holes. We've come around lunchtime now so the sun is out it's coming through this dense foliage hitting patches of rocks and i'm hoping that's where we're going to see the snake sunning itself either in a tree on a rock on a bank something like that let's get going let's try and see if we can find a black mamba Now, what I've done is I've been looking on that river bed, but it's getting quite overgrown in the one spot. So I've just come across, look at this forest around us here. Yeah? I've cut across, I'm trying to make my way back down to the river bend where I think is the spot people have told us, but it's always difficult to know exactly, you know, people take you a picture of the river and they'll say, oh, that's the spot where I saw the snake. But it all looks the same, to be honest with you. So lots of green stuff, lots of rocks and a bit of water. So um, we're going to make our way down to another part of the river. Hopefully, when we get into that part of the river, it's going to be a bit clearer and we can just walk around there because you're not going to see a snake here. There's so many places and, and mambas are the athletes of the snake kingdom. They can be up in the trees here hunting birds. You heard those birds, chop, 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 chop. They'll be up there hunting birds, making them as nervous as a sardine in a shark tank. Birds will be freaking out. That is one way you find snakes. So when birds are going off, you know, snake around. Let's get back down to the river. Guys, you won't believe it. Have a look at this over here. Look at the stick I've got here. And that over there is actually a spider. That's his bum you're looking at there. Let me turn him around. I can't believe this. I've never seen a spider like this. His fangs. He's got huge fangs. I'm going to move it over here. Fangs are over there. Ooh. Ooh, don't drop on my hand. I like tarantulas, but these smaller spiders give me the willies. Freak me out completely. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't it the most incredible spider you've ever seen in your life? If you know what type of spider this is, Put your comments down below. I think it's called 
a big scary one. Look at that, there underneath. That's the underneath of him. And he's got some big, good set of fangs there. <gasps> look at that, look at that. Look. Oh, sherbet, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know what I love about snakes? The bum is here, the head is here. Spider, bum and head all in the same spot. Let's let this guy go, put him back in a tree over here. There we go, buddy. Whew, back in the tree. Let's get cracking and try and find some snakes. Look over there on the rock. Can you see over there on the rock? There, on that rock there in the sun. Yes, and it's moving. Come, come, come. It was here. It's got, there's a, something I hold there. Are you sure you saw? I saw it. Right here. I didn't. Oh, let me just, let me get the hook. Okay, come closer. I saw here, and it saw us, and as it saw us, it started cruising away. So the tail was moving here as I came, but it's, look here. Oh no, this, it's a huge hole. I thought it was a tiny hole. Look there. Can you see in there? Yeah. You can put your hands in there, I think, not too far. You see there? He, nothing on the camera. You can't see it on the camera. It's the spider wheel. Just push your hand a little bit closer. Oh, gosh. No. Okay. <laughs> Man, this is a spot, guys. And as you can see, let me just take a camera here for a little bit. I want to show you why this is a good spot. So, big hole over here. Perfect for the snake. Absolutely perfect. It's close to water. That's what I fell in just now. And as I was running, I hit one of these vines. It just caught me and I went into that water. And then it's got this beautiful spot here for basking. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful area. Whew. Oh, I'm pooped. Where the snake can bask. You can bask in these trees over here. It's an excellent place for basking. That's what's been happening. The snake's been living here, obviously. This is its home. It's a beautiful home. Who wouldn't want to live here? And uh, except for a lot of people in the world now that there's a black mamba. And it obviously sits in that home when it's cold. Comes out here. Look here. It's got a beautiful place in the bank to bask on this rock over here. All over the place. Up at the top. It's got water. It's got food. Listen to the birds. There'll be rodents running around here as well. It's got an excellent, excellent place. Now. Definitely black mamba. It was black. It was a big black. I only saw but I saw it sitting, but I couldn't see its head. It obviously saw us. And then it just turned. And I just saw scales and then the, the back of the tail going. But it was moving. I mean, I didn't have a chance. I was, I didn't know I'd get stuck there. I was hoping I could just grab it and pull tail. But it's got a great home. I think the only thing we can do is let's, you're not going to like this, though, but let's sit up here on the bank. Let's wait. It's a good time of the day. It should come out and bask. At least it didn't, I didn't grab it. I didn't really upset it. That's why I don't want to dig around in the hole too much. Stuck the camera there. We can't see on the camera. But if we wait an hour or two, I think there's a good chance snake's going to come out. And then if I can get in between it and its hole, block off its escape, then we're in the business. Let's go and wait up on the bank there. Let's see what happens. Now, Kirsty. It must be a real honor being married to Dingo. Please tell us three reasons why he is your personal hero. All right, I spa with my little R something green. Mm, a tree. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I spa with my little R something tall. A tree. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Asba with mala. A vertical log. A tree. <laughs> um, asba. A tree. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, asba. A tree. <laughs> you get it every time. 
Kirsty, please tell us three things about Dingo that nobody else knows. Um, yeah. He has an irrational and rather hilarious fear of rodents. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, he has abnormally small toenails, a baby toenail that's really small. Beautiful and small. Um, and he loves a good rom-com. Good rom-com movie, romantic comedy is one of his favorites. Feeling exposed. Okay, one of the things we always bring with us when we're out in the field is our emergency kit. Those of you who've been following us for a while will know I'm hypersensitive, allergic to elapid venom. So you're looking at your, your mambas, your cobras, all of that. So a bite from a snake like a black mamba would normally, you've got about 30 minutes normally, maybe sometimes less to get to the hospital. We can do that from where we are if we can get out of this gorge quick enough. But I've got uh, hypersensitivity, so I can't. I've got about probably a minute to get all this adrenaline inside of me and stuff like that. So we have this kit on us all the time. I need to get adrenaline or epinephrine into this a drip into my vein within about 30 seconds if that happens. The problem here, and these are the things you have to think about when you're doing something like this. The problem here is that we're in the bush. It's gonna take us more than 30 seconds to get near a car or a road and Kirsty's not gonna carry me out of this gorge. So I really don't have the luxury of taking a bite and trying to wait it out to try to see if it works in hospital. And the black mamba, 100% fatality without anti-venom. That's for a person who isn't got hypersensitive to venom. For a guy like myself, I don't think I can handle another bite. So I have to be super careful if this snake does come out. And um, we have to be really, really careful how we work with it, how we box it. We brought a container along to put it in a container if we find it. Right now, I don't want to take any snake out of here. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> right, it's coming out another hole. Look here. Come quick. It's going in another one. Yeah. It came out of here, man. That's why we didn't see it up against that ledge. Oh, geez, it's got me by the leg. Come on, it's okay. Oh, dear. All right. Um, got a couple of problems here. Now, what we didn't see is we are sitting up on the bank. Have a look back there. I thought it was going to come out that hole in front of us. It actually came up down this groove. So there's holes up there. So obviously makes the same tunnel system. And the snake came out of there. And it's made its way now. Down here. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. It's a big black case. Look at that. It's cold though. It's ice cold. There we go. There we go. Black mamba. Look at that snake. Isn't it absolutely spectacular? And even though it's cold, I'm still watching it like a hawk. Mouth open there. A little bit of mouth open. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> what a highlight finding a snake like this in such a beautiful area. And I'm lucky he's cold, so I can come much closer to him and work him much easier than I normally would. He's absolutely beautiful. He's in perfect condition, which means there's more than enough food here. There's good shelter for him. And he's a big snake. Look at the side. Oh, it's okay, my boy. It's okay. I presume you're a, a boy. Normally the boys get bigger than the girls. Look at the size of that boy. Isn't he absolutely beautiful? Move closer, Kirst, look at you. Look at that. Look at the... Oh! Man alive, talk about risking your wife. Snake on the hook stick, Kirsty come closer. Snake comes straight out at Kirsty, gets right up almost to her fingers. Whoa! Black Mamba almost bit my wife. Kirst, go put the left glove on there. Go put that glove on quickly. He came right at you there. That was close. He's waking up now. Oh, yes, he is. Sorry, my babe. Now, guys, what you didn't see, maybe you did see it from the camera angle, is that mamba. Normally, they would just stand and hood. Uh -uh. He's coming at me now. Look at that hood. You can go down low there. That'll be cool. Get his, get his attention on you if you can. I'll hold his tail. He won't come at you too far. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Woo! 
He's wiring now. Uh, look how he's waking up. Uh, no, my boy. And one bite from a snake like this. This is a big mamba. One bite from a snake like this. You're in a world of trouble. A potent, super potent, neurotoxic venom. And although he's cold, he's working us out here. He's wrapping his hand, his, sorry, his tail around my hand to get leverage. He's got no grip on these rocks. That's what makes it really nice to work with him on these rocks. I hope he just wants to sit. First, I'm gonna put him in front of you. Just shake your left hand at him. Just watch the camera there while you're doing it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. And you hear that noise his body's making. The second longest venomous snakes in the world, black mambas, and the quickest by a long shot. Way faster than any other snake on the planet. There we go. Even though he's cold, he's quick. Let's just let him come over here, but it's okay, my boy. Look at that, look at that hood. Now, a lot of people don't realize that mambas have hoods. Even some of your green mambas, Jamison mambas, and they have a slight hood, but look at the hood of the black mamba. Look at that, beautiful hood. Absolutely stunning hood. Look at that snake. Right. This is the perfect, position to be able to see the snake there. Is his mouth open, Kirst? Yeah. Just wave your left hand there so he stays on you, not me. That's cool. Is he on you there? And that's why they're called the black mamba. Look at that black inside of their mouth. Ink black. Can you hear the sound he's making? It's the most bone chilling sound you've ever heard in your life. It's like a whole haunted house full of witches. It's absolutely blood curdling. And he's watching me now. I just need you to move a little bit there with that. Yeah, big, yeah, that's perfect. Move your foot there. Big movements like that. That's cool. He's watching you now. Now, this venom of this snake, if it gets into your blood system, basically paralyzes you. So people die. A lot of people say from their heart stopping, it's not your heart stopping. What happens? Diaphragm gets paralyzed. That's how people die from asphyxiation. And when I was bitten by a black mamba back in 2003, I was almost dead within about 12 minutes from a bite. I was completely paralyzed 12 minutes after the bite. Got into the hospital really quickly, had a ventilator shoved down my throat. It was such an emergency, such a rush to get it down. It's one of the more painful things I've ever had. It felt like a garden fork going down into my throat. And I have more respect for this snake than any other snake on the planet. By far the most dangerous snake to work with than any other. You can put all the Aussie snakes together I'd rather handle every single one of them a hundred times than work with the black mamba. Look how alert they are. He's watching me and he's watching Kirsty now. So from this position, can swing right back at my face. I'm a bit flat footed at the moment. I really hurt my Achilles as we jumped down when I first saw the snake. What a mistake I made there. Letting the snake go and as I move, I spook it, it shoots straight out. I thought it would have gone another way. Shoots out at Kirsty, mouth open. I have one chance to whip it up with the hook stick. Fortunately, I got the snake, moved it away. I mean, it was this close to Kirsty's leg. That's right, okay, Kirsty, got it. Well done. Good job. And that's why you need complete trust with the people you're working with. Kirsty had complete trust there. If she had moved badly, she moved a bit. If she had moved badly, that snake would have tried to tag her. She knew I was gonna come. I was gonna hopefully pick it up, get it out of the way. Whew. Isn't this the most nerve wracking snake on the planet? What a reputation. What a beautiful, magnificent snake. Just move your leg there, Kirst. Yeah, get his attention up there. Look at that. The infamous black mamba. What we're going to do, let's go get the container, pack him away. I want to release him here. I want to leave him here, but unfortunately, we can't do that. He is in such magnificent condition. And people, they see the snake and they're scared, and I don't blame them for being scared. But he doesn't deserve to be killed. And that's what people have been saying to us. Dingo, get him out of here, or we're going to kill him. A lot of people, even watching this video, will think just 12 gauge shotgun. That's what this snake needs. It doesn't. Chris, just move your leg there quick. That's perfect, yeah. Look at that. The black mamba. What a brilliant snake. Super beautiful snake. 
All right, let's get the container, put it in the container, and let's pack it away. As he comes back in there. Oh, hang on, he's twisting a little bit. No, I'm not happy with that, I'm gonna let go. It's just not coming back properly. Come back, boy. It's obviously never been necked before. There we go. Okay, we got him. There we go, look at him. Look how big and thick he is. He's as thick as a doctor's wallet. Isn't that an absolutely magnificent looking black mamba? Here, his mouth's open. Hello, my boy. I'm sorry we have to catch you. Man, I love this snake. I just swapped this over. It's quite a dangerous thing to do. This snake deserves to be in the wild. Doesn't deserve to be taken out of this paradise. Isn't he absolutely spectacular? And although he did try and bite us once or twice, fortunately he's cold. He's as cold as a polar bear's nipple. Super cold. That's what slowed him down a little bit. Let's put him in his enclosure here or in the container. Let me just check quickly if he is a male or a female. So if he's a male, what I should be able to do, it's just a bit hard with one hand here. What I should be able to do is just pop out his hemipenes. That'll show us he's a male. Come on, watch your head there. Oh man, he's twisting around. It's an me. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna swap his head over one more time. There we go. I've got him over there. That's cool. Let's use the right hand. And just hold him like that. There we go, look at that. The hemipenes of a black mamba. Two willies, lucky boy. Here we go, two willies. Put them back in. So I was right, he is a big male. Look at that. Look at the size of him. That's a big snake. I mean, that's a huge snake. Stand him over here. Look at that. His tail's touching the ground. He's still not in a straight line. And look how big he is. And I'm 1.8 meters odd. So he's a good, I'd say 2.4 meter snake, 2.5 meter snake. Beautiful snake. Isn't he absolutely amazing? All right. Okay, let's get him all in here quickly. You have to be super quick at this point. There we go. And you can see I'm sweating like a hippo in summer, even though we're in this beautiful forest. And unfortunately, this is the reality of what we have to do. We have to take snakes away from these beautiful environments because of people. And I wish people would just understand this snake doesn't mean you any harm. It's not going to see you walking past, rush up the bank to bite you. They're not like that. He's just going to sit here. You could see from me, he was trying to get away from you all the time. The only time he actually went for us was when I had him there. Kirsty was on the camera. Oh, how's that struck? That was absolutely frightening. Ah, I got nervous there. Kirst, I'm sorry. There are a few times I let him get too close to you there. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. What a beautiful snake. What an absolute privilege living in a country when we come into contact with these magnificent reptiles. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Dingo out.